last run of the night. Year 10. Let's see if I can do this. I've been chasing this dream for over a year now. It's been a very slow... Well, that's um fortuitous. Okay. Get out here. And yeah, they named a challenge after Rito. Nice. Yeah, he had uh he had reached out to them being like, hey, if I can Oh god damn it. Damage already. If I can beat Robusta Year 10, uh can you put my hoodie in the game? Kind of as a joke. And then they did. Which is like super impressive, and I wish I was that good at video games. I'm good, but I'm not that good. I mean, handing that to me right off the bat. Now all we need is that orchid. And we'll be sitting, sitting comfy. Chances of me getting it twice in a run, probably low. But still, you never know. Really, probably should not be fighting the, the Beesons. Okay. Avoid that. Can't do much here. There we go. I could drop an Anim Cory early. I really should look at that scroll at some point and actually see how it's pronounced. I'm sure it's like a very real word. Okay, they're all dead. So we actually do want to be over here. There we go. Good early earthquake. Makes it get me a pig if I can. Yeah, I think if I want to do achievement hunting, especially some of these harder ones, we're going to have to uh, dip down to the lowest year levels. I really focus on those. Okay. This is a giant pain in the ass. Dude's got a lot of meat shields. Just working for him. Uh oh. I do not like being surrounded in that manner. Thank you. Okay, missed me. And it is not going to kiss me. Grab the turret. Yeah, I almost wonder if going for time for year 10 might be the easier experience or absolutely stinking brutal. Okay, relatively early pig. Just, please chill. I didn't even finish this side. Yeah. Got it. Got the pig. Okay, it's fine. Anemo Cree. It's a windated seed dispersal. Thank you. Okay. Whew. <sighs> Earlier, there were way more flying skulls around year 10. Oh, so you're saying it's actually gotten a lot easier. That's probably for the best. This game is... does not pull punches. 
mimicry. Because hmm. I was calling it like anachromery, Adam Corey, but no. A new Mokri. Hmm. I'm just gonna probably start butchering it next time I come back to this game. There's little I can do about that though. Okay, participation trophy. Crops merge without fer fertilizer. Okay, that kind of goes a long way. Okay. Prickly pears. The value isn't going to be as good. But it's fine. Okay, let's leave that. I want to farm, but that should last, especially with my cow. Whew. Shit. Buffaloes are everywhere. You kill one, just two more respawn. I'm just, I'm just gonna have to dodge them, I guess. They don't. I don't think it's going to be practical for me to kill them all. Okay. I'm actually very glad I didn't go this way first. I think that would have gone very poorly for me very fast. Okay. HP. Wait, do I have less starting HP? No, I don't. Eh, honestly, maybe not so bad. This is enough to give me a weapon. It has to be one of the good ones. Otherwise, kind of not worth it. Eh, no. And the fight stats are kind of worth it. The crow really would have been incredible with participation trophy. Somebody mentioned that yesterday. And I hadn't, like, pro processed what participation trophy does. But now that I actually remember what it does, it's like, oh yeah, that actually would have been really good on him. Because now I can save my fertilizer for something a little bit more practical. Okay. Please stop running from me. I just want you dead. Is that too much to ask? Oh boy. You know, if there was ever a game to do the Rogue Legacy thing. Or not Rogue Legacy. Well, I mean Rogue Legacy, but I was gonna... Uh, what I really mean is... Uh, the uh, the Risk of Rain 2 thing. Where they, they come out with an expansion. Expansion? Sorry, a sequel. That adds, like, full 3D gameplay. Uh, let's see, full 3D gameplay and, like, good netcode. Oh, Spud Rifle. Rusty SMG would also be good, but I like the Spud Rifle a little bit better. Ooh, comes with Zap. Oh, that would have been good. How are you so good at this game? I can barely do year two. Practice. Uh, please tell me I was planting beans. I was, good. Okay, let's get the date tree down. But as, as kind of tacky as it is to say, uh, this is my job. 
I mean, maybe not so much, uh... Atomicrops. Atomicrops is partly my job. Gosh, I only have one heartbeat. Alright, that should be... Sufficient DACA for what I need. Okay. There we go. Uh, just grab one of those. I see there's a mid-boss up there. I didn't even see that bee hiding in him. I'm unconvinced on whether or not I want to fight the mid-boss bats. I mean, I guess if there was a run to do it, this would run. Uh, if there was a gun to be able to take them on, this would be pretty high up there. That was a bad time to have a runny nose. Come on, trigger the zap. Shred them. Okay. What do we get? Herbicidal blood. Killing enemies turns weeds into flowers. Let's go with that. That makes my life a little easier. But yeah, full three atomic crops with the art style and general aesthetic. Not sure if it would be amazing or horrifying. I'd be amazing fine. I just... I would love to do this in full 3D where I feel like I have a little bit more control over what I'm doing. Maybe. And, you know, make it like a, a first person shooter. Um... Shit. You know what? Maybe not. This is a bad idea. You know why? Because the ideal would almost be like... Almost Fortnite. Okay. There we go. Nope! Damn it! There was a rose in there. I really wish that stuff would just stick around. Alas. So the big problem is Unfriendly Worm. He is going to kill me. Yeah, I'm dead. I... I'm not fast enough to fight him. Is the big issue. Alright, let's go get some Chivos. Or just do a round of this dandelion. So, 114 potatoes in 10 seconds. I think that's gonna be our goal. Maybe the Mega Tree one, but that one's a little random. I don't think I want to try and win a run with just the pea shooter. Taking any damage might be tough. 50,000 fertilizer would be the other one. Speculate have an easier time on the higher year just for the better drops. Do you actually get better drops from higher years? And we'll find out. Look, I'm gonna go easy on on this one while I get used to his controls. Now, do we want to do ultra chaos option here? No. Because here's the thing: we can fly. That opens us up to a lot of really weird potential options here. So what's Ultra Chaos? I just fly to the, um, the higher tier zones early. Do we do it? I mean, I, I certainly could. Okay. Grab the turret. There we go. 
grab a tremor. Retrospect, yeah, no, no. Tremor is probably fine. Yeah, if I can pull it off, the tremor and the animal pen uh, could go really far. I think I'd want to stay away from the squirrel upgrader and a couple other, other bits, though. Wow, yeah, just getting one of those right off the bat goes a really long way. I also just noticed how much HP I have. Is this standard for Dandelion, or is this a year one thing? I have no idea. Okay, so immediate downside is I'm pretty weak. What I should probably do... Skip this for a bit. I say is I do not skip this for a bit. chicken me grab disco ball uh nope I can't go in here yet okay here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go foraging the immediate deer full would be interesting but bad okay it's not here I've only lost lost like 2 HP. So, we don't want to do this yet. I need to go get a better gun. Basic pea shooter is pretty good, and you know, I could totally do a run. Hmm. Okay. This is also worth it. Wow, everything is so slow on this mode. I love it. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna sack some sack some stats for a bit to give myself like one extra damage. Wow, maybe fight stats are bad. The hell is the the foraging tree around here? where I've been, like, almost everywhere already. I guess I haven't been kind of in this back territory. There we go. Well, that didn't... That didn't pan out. So, apparently, to prevent people from cheesing things... like me... Uh... They made it specifically so even even the the further out areas barely have any berry bushes. Ah, oh, I could have gotten a little bit more. Whatever. Okay. Um Oh, the prices are low. I love your one. Alright. Still don't have too much I can do at the moment. get this down and do we do we plant some things I guess might as well there we go oh they die so fast let's get the the date tree down as well okay off we go. What the? Huh. I was not... I was not expecting that. But that's okay. Grab those. Let's continue to go kind of hella fast here. 
I'll have to be back to protect my crops at some point. Ooh, another date seed. That's kind of nice. Nope. Okay. Well, I'd like to go for those bad boys. No dice. Grab that. Grab this. Okay, so now I can warp back whenever I want. And unfortunately... I wasn't thorough, so we haven't found the golden pupa yet. Which is a shame, because now I kind of don't know where to go looking. Because it, it could literally be anywhere. And I'm going to waste so much time trying to find it. Oh, it's probably this guy. Right at the beginning. Right at this start. And I literally walked right into that one. Oh yeah, berry bushes are based on time. Okay. Got it. Eggs sometimes hatch. That's good stuff. Stat up. I like it. Okay. Yeah, I just... Going for the perks here is good. Sticking around to actually clear the camps out, maybe not so good. They're just a little tough for me. Maybe if I had a better weapon. Damn it. Uh, but I'm probably just going to get killed. Is the other answer. Let's just grab this. Off my crops. Right, and I don't have anything around here to water things. So we probably shouldn't. There we go. We should probably just kind of chill for the rest of the night. Build up. Actually, let's just do that. Because I might as well get... I might as well get my rose down. And the heartbeat, seeing as I've taken so much damage. Huh, I'm not actually seeing bombs fly off of those guys anymore. Oh, and I still have, like, no fertilizer. Okay, got lucky there. Plant our other date seed. There we go. It's fine. Okay. I think I think we're going to go probably to the right first. Uh, if I had a, if I had 150, you know, like a good biodegrader could probably do it. Those would be nice, but alas, we don't need bridge materials, which is actually going to save me a lot of money in the long run. Okay. Go here, heal. Do we... No. I'm just going to let that grow. We're going to go here. We'll just clear this side out. It'll be much faster. Wow. It is baffling playing a low year after playing year, year 10. Just like, you want to go nuts here? Oh shoot, I got to stop planting my potatoes. Not that it's particularly necessary to get that achievement this time around. Nor am I even sure if I'm going to be able to pull it off. There we go. Just delete you. Just keep lining this up. Because yeah, if I can take, take out like one or two of them with the initial shots, 
Makes my life a lot easier. Uh, let's grab one of those. Even just having this gun. There we go. Stats up, stats up. There we go. There's the pupa. Grab a little bit more. Right, and this is going to be a boss night, so I can kind of... I don't have to worry about getting back. So, all things considered, like, despite the fact that uh, I kind of scuffed the start... Oh, there it is. Cow or a pig? We've already got a cow, so let's grab the pig. Ooh, almost walked backwards into that bullet. That would have been bad. Oop. And dovecoat. Yeah, we are actually gaining way more control of ourselves. I, sh I should probably play this character again in the future. Uh, do I do anything? Oh, yeah. I know exactly what I do. Aha! Aha! Oh, shoot. It's Revenge of the Worm. It's a lot slower now, though. And I'm a lot faster. I think this is one of the only characters that gains... Uh, movement speed ups. I hadn't really thought about that. But yeah, we must. Okay, there we go. Grab these. Blast these. Okay. Get the roses down. What else do we have? Not too much. Cabbage? Let's just fill out space. Oh right, I've got cleats. I don't need I don't need to do anything of the sort. I can just kind of relax. Because, yeah, this character just starts with him, so we can skip a lot of the farming nonsense. Yeah, I should give this guy more of a shot. Next time we get the chance, I will. Uh, anything else? Corn. Oh, shit. Yeah, I just don't even have potatoes, do I? Yeah, I got beans. I got other stuff. So why did I go back to year one? Uh, mostly to chill and to practice this character. He's not the easiest. Alright, I don't think we're getting the, uh... I don't think we're getting the, uh... Plant 144 potato perk for this round. I mean, I might pull it off, but I doubt it. But no, I just, I don't know. I've been, uh, pushing myself with, like, year 9 and whatnot. Might as well just have the final run of the night. Final run of the year, maybe? I don't know if I'm going to be back to this before New Year's. Ooh, butcher's knife. Better than the flying squirrel. The wheel and clip size. Yeah, I'll take those. Those are good. Sup? There's something kind of menacing about all of this. Uh, the only downside of all of this is we are going to get way less cornucopias. Okay, I'm just going to send those out. You get the other ones? Eh. Grab that tractor. It's way better. I don't think there's anything else, so we're good. And right, we don't need bridge repair materials. I was about to go buy one, and I was like, wait a second, I don't need this. What am I doing? Okay. We get flowers. Um, I guess let's just go north. Oh, they don't even give me bridge repair kits. 
That's honestly fair. Okay. Just eat those guys. I don't think we have too much to worry about as far as mid bosses go. I was growing instead of weeds. There we go. Another cow? Another cow. Everything is so much easier. It's so nice and relaxing. Yeah, I might do another round of this for New Year's. I gotta decide. I don't actually... I don't know what my plans are for the holidays. Because <clears throat> I definitely need to schedule some time off for myself at some point. I've got a lot of personal projects that I need to put some more time into. And some more care into. Though, I guess recently with all the roguelikes I've been playing, that has kind of been... Uh, I want to say it's personal time. It doesn't feel like work when I'm playing roguelikes. Most of the time. There's like one or two that do me bad. Uh, namely, Gungeon? Gungeon was bad. This one, this one is definitely straining. But as I get better at it, it's not as problematic. There we go. Tractor ready. I will mulch you. There we go. I think if I want to continue with kind of these runs, I might want to do it on like year four or five. The more relaxy ones. This is a little too easy and isn't going to reward me cornucopias. Though, some part of me is kind of like, but what if, what if I just had every cornucopia? I know that's kind of the dark side and usually once I start hacking in stuff in a game, it's usually when I start losing interest. On the flip side, meta progression starts getting, uh, let's grab chicken. I don't think I have any. I don't know. Meta percussion is like really good in certain roguelikes and kind of okay in other ones. Oh. One of these nights already. Really? I guess, why not? Alright, let's get these down. Um. Fill these in. I don't know what I'm going to put in them. Do I have a pig? I do have a pig. Grab those. Tractor is ready. I'll think about it. Switching this tractor versus not. Because it is certainly nice being able to just kind of delete a camp of enemies. But we might want the weed whacker. Yeah, that said, that's it. you need thousands of cornucopias to get a single top tier cat. I'd be very okay with you to hack them in for cat purposes. Yeah. Okay. Why don't we do that? Once, um... Once I've ma maybe maxed out the regular... Uh, meta progression for this game, then I just have, uh, just hacked in cats. They're cats anyway. Maybe. Let's see, didn't I get the double tractor buff? Oh, you're right, I did. I don't know. My head's gone. This music is too peaceful, and I'm starting to chill out and zen out in a bad way. Well, is it a ba bad way when you're zen? I don't think so. Let's pick up this turret. It's time to move it. Otherwise, it's going to be smack dab in the middle of my defenses forever. If I can get to it. Uh, do we want to get a sunflower down? Sure. Let's see. So we don't have any flowers. Not much to work with, but it's okay. Yeah, I'm... What was... What are some games with really bad meta progression? I mean... 
Ooh, Catlin gun or definitely shallot gun for this guy. There's something really menacing about how I look at the moment. I don't think there's anything else I want to spend money on. Nope, we're good. Like Gunfire Reborn, I remember having really, really bad meta progression. Um, not, not in a way that I found like immediately intolerable, but just kind of exhausting. Okay, these are probably more beans. No, it's corn. Oh no, it's beans and corn? Oh. Well, that's a oops. Okay, so where... Where am I going? I'm going top. Let's just go back. A yeah, kind of convenient thing I can do. Warp up here and then walk back. And then, yeah, I think in... In this case, I'm just going to go nothing but fight stats. We're going to be Battle Lion. Because I want to be strong enough that I can actually go into the Northern Territories and just wreck them. Real life has bad meta progression. True. But every once in a while, like, I'll play a roguelike where it's just like, Hey, you want to grind for the next hundred hours to get, like, a 5% damage up? And it's like, no. Uh, and this one, honestly isn't so bad just because the gameplay is so good and the game is like beatable baseline without any of the meta upgrades. Killing enemies turns weeds into flowers or pigs till moist soil. Crops grow very fast and soil remains moist. Yes. Now we just need like a ton of pigs. I think... Yeah, we got, we got this. Let's actually go up to the winter area. This might be a mistake, but I'm feeling tougher. Now this shallot gun mostly does enough. Got the pupa right off the bat. Boy, if I had Roach Killer, I'd be a happy camper. Nice part is there's like no dizzy birds here. Ooh, hi. Shit. Hi. I am so glad I can fly. Whoa. I didn't know he could do that. This is really distracting. And actually really tough? God damn it. Alright, if I'm just over here for a brief second. Soft fur. Pet farm animals to energize them. Oh, dizzy bird shots. Okay, do we have a... Yeah, we do. Let's just eat these guys real quick. All right. Well, that was confusing. Where is it? Oh, it's right here. Okay. That worked out. Yeah, I should be getting plenty of money from this run. So I shouldn't have too much to worry about. I'll just be able to get better guns for the next one. Alright, what else do we have? Heartbeats? Yeah, I should probably... I should probably plant those. Are you kidding me? I was just trying to avoid this shot and... It merged subpar ones. Balls. All right, it's fine. We're on the easiest difficulty. Just hate it when that happens. But maybe that's kind of supposed to be the point of this game. It's not supposed to be easy to pull it off. Just hate to see it. Oh, well, who knows? Maybe I can get some more heartbeat seeds and. Pull off a little bit more than that. Okay. Beach. Grab those. 
I guess I might as well grab the pickaxe while we're at it. And friends, more chickens. We're good. Perfect. I got a ton. Let's see. Anything else I'm going to do here? I guess I'm just going to get these down real quick. Just want to get the grapes. Oh, yes. Stat up. Alright. Shift, make it rain. And then I'm going to warp back. We'll finish this up later. Okay, so what have I done? I have not cleared much of this area at all, in fact. Just eat these guys for loads of fertilizer. Yeah, leech should be perfect for this right now. Consume. Oh, they're getting blocked by the tree. I was like, are they eating the tree? But no, of course they're not. There we go. Just leave nothing remaining. Don't get hit by that. Don't get surprised by the dizzy bird. Ugh. It's freaking out even more than I was expecting it would. Wow. Hello. Berserk Leech is something special. Ooh, treasure chest. Okay, shocks. Whiskey, whiskey shot. Oop. Grab it. Oh, balls. Okay, and I don't have the ability to go back. If we go up here, and then remember to come back down. Did I get any more heartbeat seeds? I did. Wait, I can just walk on them. Perfect. There we go. Okay, so I squander a little bit of my heartbeats. But it's fine. And we're back. And hello! Oh, it's boss time already. Grab another hog. I'll just leave it. Alright, it's the sun. We'll see how this goes. Hey! What's going on, Nasty? I see you there. I was like, wait a second, I recognize that name. There we go. What, what, what game was it recently? I was googling for logos. Your, your face was just like right there alongside it. It was... Uh, you know, I'm not actually... I'm totally blanking. I I played, too. Wait, did he already die? Holy shit, we just deleted him. Alright, cool. Um, hmm. Now let's get some pumpkins down. Actually, I should probably use my scrolls. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, let's see, I don't have too many more. There's something where you were a minion in it, but I am... Yeah, at a loss. And it happened again! Oh, well, here's all the potatoes that I was supposed to... Oh, whatever, cabbage. Let's just fill these out. Grab these. Anything else good? Eh. Not too much. Way too many random things. Ooh! Flowers, flowers have got some nice seeds for me. Boy, playing this on year one is the silliest shit ever. <laughs> Game just cannot handle it. It's great. Okay, what else do we have? We got three rose seeds, which is not really what I'm looking for. Hmm. Because I want that fourth. I was hoping I get it. And I don't have any trees either. Yeah. We'll just kind of make do without for the time being. 
This is such a weird run because I'm doing it in the wrong order. I like it, but it's throwing me off. Right, take me away. And can I... Ooh. Do, yes? Faster reload, size, triple shot, bullet orb. I mean, that's good. Do we... No. Polyamory was on the previous round. It's fine. This is just confusing. Right, we've got that, and then some. I don't feel like drop rates are that much worse at this point. I was expecting it was going to be lower. Okay, so we've got another bro seed. Do we? Yeah. I'll just spend it on that. Let's just go nuts. Oh, talking about Loop Odyssey. That's the game. I didn't bother with that one. It was just a little too close to Loop Hero. Normally, I'm super fine with the idea of games um, being derivative of each other. You know, it's like, yeah, hey, this person had a great idea. Let's, let's incorporate what made that game great and put it into, you know, our own game. But when it's like 100% the art style and all the other bits, that's the point where I usually start kind of losing it. I'm just kind of like, I don't know. I feel like you could have pushed it a little further. Uh, what's a good example? Stardew Valley. Stardew Valley is really, honestly, a little more than a um, a Harvest Moon 1, like, indie remake. Uh, and I'm sure it has a lot of extra materi materials, uh, a lot of extra features and whatnot that make it stand out so much more. But at the same time, the reason why it was so good... Uh, the reason why it was so good is it, it still stood on its own and it came at a time where there was nothing else on the market quite like it. And so it was kind of easy to just be like, well, yeah, it is just more Harvest Moon, but we haven't had a, a proper Harvest Moon in a very long time. So it's not, like, not really a big deal. But uh, Loop Odyssey is another game that is just like, hey, remember Loop Hero? Uh, well, we have the art style of Loop Hero, vaguely the gameplay of Loop Hero, and a couple of unique ideas that make it stand out, which is good. Um, but not enough to really make it have, like, its own individual identity. And it's like, I'm sure it's a great game, but it's just, it's... I'm just eating shots left and right here. I'm sure it's a great game, and maybe it's actually even fantastic, but I can't... I can't get past that lack of... Um, originality. And maybe if it was one of those that the developer had, you know, waited a couple of years. Like, I think that would have been fine. But a couple months is just like... Yeah. It reminds me of kind of the Battle Royale uh, craze. Back when everybody was making a Battle Royale or when everybody was making a... Um, when everybody was making a MOBA. You know... Almost all of them are kind of the same, and it always holds the genre back as opposed to expands it and pushes it further. Now, let's just grab these. Do I have... Okay, I have, like, one more turret. Gosh, yeah. Look at my cows do have turrets on their backs, too. Grab these. But yeah, that's another good point about Har uh, Harvest Moon is that they had been so long between like new games that a lot of people had straight up just never had the chance to play them. Like if you were a kid in kind of like, if you grew up around the same time as I did, Harvest Moon was kind of one of those games that was always around there. There were a ton on the SNES, there were a decent amount on the... Were there any on the... I think there was one on the N64, but I knew there was at least, like, one or two on the, um, on the GameCube. Because I played at least a little bit of one of them and thought it was kind of neat. But then there was, like, a ten-year, ten uh, stretch where there was just nothing. I think that's probably fine. You know, if a developer doesn't want to make a game, they shouldn't make a game. But it kind of means, like, after a certain point, uh, the real estate for, like, hey, my game is like this, uh, kind of dips off. 
actually have the same problem with a lot of deck builder roguelikes. Uh, that's something I'm going to talk about more in the future, I'm sure. But the idea of just like, Slay the Spire is a great game. I wish people would stop copying it. There's like two or three games that follow the same suit that I think are perfectly fine and stand, uh, stand on their own. Uh, largely because they do more than just Slay the Spire. Um, thinking mostly like Monster Train, but even then like Monster Train similarities to Slay the Spire are... They're there, they're structural, but it's not like intrinsic enough to be a big deal. Um, oh, okay, this is weird. Oh, it's because I picked up a rose, it gave me some extra time. Funny. I was just like, well, I'll wait while it picks me up, and then it just didn't. There we go. Do we want to get another upgrade? Maybe. I mean, this Plunder Boom is pretty good. But no, let's keep going for the fight stat. Let's get let's get tougher. Uh, do we want to pick up a B too? Yeah, sure, why not? But yeah, Monster Train, Vault of the Void, Gordian Quest. Let's see, Killing Enemies Cuts Nearby Weeds. I mean, that would be nice. Gordian Quest very much follows the Slay the Spire formula. And, like, maybe there's one or two others. I'd have to sit down and look at them. But almost every other Slay the Spire-like game is usually just kind of boring. Because I'll load it up and say, but why play this over Slay the Spire? And inevitably just load up, like, a new mod or three for Slay the Spire and generally have a better time of it. Gosh, I forgot how good the Jackrabbit is. So unlike most of the weapons that I'm having problems with, the Jackrabbit reloads, like, super fast. It might also be the upgrade here. Forging, charges, tractor, nah. Wow, yeah, the cat only uh, fires off once. Uh, cut an additional weed, nah. Fertilizer, charges, tractor. Personally, never really liked card games. They're really good once you get into them. Like, Slade the Spire is a masterpiece. Monster Train, also a ma masterpiece. But, uh, the problem is, like, this happens not infrequently, especially within within the indie game, um, industry, where it's a lot of hobbyists who might not necessarily be, uh, you know, hobbyists that want to make games but might not necessarily be creative enough to fully come up with their own ideas. Usually it's not a big deal. Let's just send those off. Oh, and grab this while we're here. Usually it's not a big deal, but every once in a while you run into a game where you can very much tell, like, hey, this person played way too much of X or Y game and then decided to make it themselves. Sometimes it's not a problem because they either make it really, really well, so it doesn't matter. Uh, so there's a game called... Oh, I'm blanking. Is it... No, it's not. It was the Metroidvania I streamed a couple, uh, like a month or two ago for the, uh, for the most recent Next Fest. Met, ma, 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 ma. Started with an M, but I don't remember the name of it. Um, but very much Super Metroid style, uh, Metroidvania. Like, I incredibly similar, but it involves a little bit of, like, Hollow Knight, uh, levels of, like, the, the badge equipping and so on and so forth. Uh... And just a couple other things. And... Uh, let's see. Is it Metamorphosis? No. I forget. I can look it up in, like, in a little bit if I'm, uh, if I just want to stop or I can remember it later, but it doesn't matter. But it's super obviously like, hey, this person played a lot of Hollow Knight and Super Metroid wanted to make, like, a, a full fusion of the two. And frankly for me, I'm fine with that. Ooh, hello. You know, to some degree, certain games, uh, Super Metroid, Castlevania, uh, and even Hollow Knight become too much, like, cultural touchstones. Uh, not Arc Failed. No. No, no, no. It's a side-scroller. Um, I only played the demo. Let's see. Here. I'm gonna look it up, otherwise we're just gonna get a bunch of suggestions. I don't think it did particularly well. Um... 
like video wise so I wouldn't be surprised if people didn't didn't notice it go by or so at least takes a little bit for my hard drives to spin up uh ma, 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 ma. I think it was a ma. hmm oh, it wasn't an M Transmute. There we go. It had an M, but it wasn't the same. So the game was called Transmute. Really good game. Rather enjoyed it, but, you know, kind of obviously heavily inspired by a number of things. But it did enough differently that it didn't really matter. Same thing kind of with, like, uh, Axiom Verge. Because both of those games kind of had its own internal identity within, despite the fact that you load it up and you're like, oh man, this is really just kind of more, um, this is more Super Metroid. Uh, whereas recently, I was sent a game that was just like super overtly like, Hey, Hollow Knight is popular. We just made Hollow Knight. Um, I almost wonder if it's kind of a mobile gaming issue, because I, I notice this happens a lot with mobile games. Uh, that you'll have like one game become a breakout, or potentially a breakout on like another platform, and you get a bunch of um, mobile games that are kind of the same. So, was it Threes or something? Somebody made a game called Threes, and then a bunch of people cloned it and made a game called uh, 2048 or various other, like, kind of similar uh, similar titles. Let's see, which one were we trying to figure out? Uh, Transmute. I got it. I just had to look it up. Oh, we do get the chickens. Yes. Okay, but Nabla. Okay, right. Get rid of these. Let's see. I'm trying to I'm trying to remember the game that was just like, hey, what about more Hollow Knight? I forget. I think it was like supposed to be underwater, but none of it looked underwater. It wasn't Pronti. Uh, Pronti at least like had some uh, some of its own merits. Um, but like every once in a while, I just get one of these games in my inbox, and I'm just like, this has no individual identity. It is just a mosh of certain other ideas, and you really have to like work to different differentiate. <laughs> Moisty night. <laughs> um, and I feel bad for like just offhandedly passing on certain games because, you know, it's just the same as something else I've played in the past. Um, but often, it often doesn't feel good playing a game that is identical to something else. Uh, ooh. Bees and hummingbirds turn weeds into flowers. Like that? Otherwise, mm, I don't care about firing a pocket squirrel. Yeah, the game looks neat. Like Pixel Metroidvanias, like Out Buddies, DX, Environmental Station. Yeah. Um, and I, I fully agree with that. I think it's actually really good because I think at this point, Super Metroid is more of a genre than its own game. Uh, do we want to save my scrolls or do we want to pop another one of these? Let's pop another. I got plenty. I just did the math on the cap plushie bonuses, and they're absolutely worth it. Worthless. I think they're worth it if you can get the really high tier ones, but anything prior to that are are trash. I could be wrong. Oh yeah, what perks did I get on this? Critical strikes and till. Oh, that's not great. Let's go out here. Did I get the mole? Perfect. I mean, at least the damage is incredibly good. Yeah, if there's an area for me to take this into, it'd probably be here. Holy shit, that damage, too. Ow. I saw him coming and I could do nothing about it. But yeah, especially nowadays when, like... Uh, I'm gonna say, like, a couple years ago, you could play any trash game, or you could put out, like, a mediocre game. And it would still be lauded as fantastic. Um, but nowadays, like, there's so many truly incredible games coming out all the time. Um, that, like, anything short of incredible is usually ignored. And even then, a lot of, like, truly incredible games are kind of forgotten or missed. Hello. Uh, so, like, one of my favorite roguelikes to have come out uh, over the last couple of years. Uh, 
want to avoid for a hot second. Uh, I really love... What is it? RoboQuest. I think RoboQuest is an incredibly well-made well -made game and it's a lot of fun to play. And I think it does have enough of a community around it, but it always felt like uh, people keep sleeping on that game. It makes me sad whenever I like load it back up again and a bunch of people are like, what is this game? I'm like, no. You know, this is this should be one of those games that people actually know about. Because uh, it does everything I loved from like Tower of Guns, save for the lack of verticality. Uh, and so like, I don't know. Uh, maybe I also just have a bone to pick with Gunfire Reborn, which I found uh, way less interesting. Let's grab this. Grab that. I don't think I can actually kill him. It's fine. Okay, mud pit, gain three pigs. Oh, the other one would have given me turrets. But no, I'll, I'll take pigs. I forgot we're fighting a boss. Thank you. People are like, it's just gunfire. And I'm like, no, pull my hair out. Yeah. No, I'm 100% I'm in the same vein where it's just like... Gunfire is fun. But it is so grindy and it is so repetitive to play through. Uh, I guess honestly maybe maybe RoboQuest isn't isn't actually that far off. And maybe I'm I'm giving it too much credit, but it's like I feel like every time I load up RoboQuest, I'm just like, well this is a new wild combo that I've never done before. And I get really excited to try it out. Whereas gunfire I'm just kinda like, I don't know, I'm just gonna pick up this and hope it's good. And then Maybe it is. I don't know. Grab these. Where's the rest of this guy? We murked him really fast, which I think is just kind of a product of him, of this being T1. I actually can't see him. And he's healing too. Oh, was he behind the sign? He was behind the sign. Rude. Okay, let's get some more flowers down. But no, I, I I consider RoboQuest to be like, frankly, an incredible game, and I get excited whenever they put a new update because I'm like, hey, it's a good excuse for me to play it again. Um, and like, if I mean, maybe they're not actually having trouble, uh, you know, getting players. I don't know. But I always feel like that game is, you know, hasn't got the credit it, it deserves. And so to loop back on the topic of like games that don't really, don't really come up with anything terribly new, it's always kind of painful to see them. I don't want to say succeed because it always feels like it's taking up um, space in people's uh, collective consciousness for something that could have been so much better, or is so much better. I mean, obviously, marketing goes a long way, and people's preferences and whatnot. Um, it's a good example. I don't know. There's don tons of them. I guess, oddly enough, uh, I'm not going to put it in the same vein, but seeing everybody talking about, uh, super glowingly this year about Shikari has been, like, very validating. But so much of me wants to just, uh, yell from the rooftops a little bit and it's like, no! I mean, it's good, but play Wander Song. It's, like, also good and maybe better. Uh, let's see. Grab that. No. Eh. And even at the time when it, that had just come out, I was, I was sitting there kind of mentally just being like, No, Wander Song is so good. Everyone should play it. Let's see. Do we even care? Now let's just grab both of those. We're going into the winter with more than enough time. Nothing can stop me at this point. We've got dang good guns. I forgot how easy this is. Radical concept, play both. It's true, but a lot of people don't go back and play both. And I'm always just like, but no. I don't know. I need to advocate better for um, older games. I've been very focused on the new um, this past year. And I've really enjoyed kind of coming back over the course of the last uh, 
last week or so, just going back to a bunch of these older games that I absolutely adore. And then realizing that, like, yeah, they're still worth playing and I should probably put some more time into them. Wow. My chicken army has more or less made it so there's no weeds left. Or er, what? The hell? Huh. Oh. Why am I here? I don't know. Whatever. Too late. We're going down. I can't go down here either. Stupid no-fly zone. Well, this is a colossal waste of time. And entirely my fault for not paying any attention to what I'm doing. I think I already got this one. Let's, um... Where is it? There it is. There we go. Let's finish this off. Wow. The hell is... Oh, these are the squirrels. Wait, what? Squirrel ammo drops. Oh, I can pick those up for extra squirrels. This is weird. I can't wait until we can get like a super high... Um, like bonus drop, I, I guess. Uh, my inventory is full. Let's grab this one. Because I'd love to see some of these get up to like six or seven bonus perks and whatnot. I feel like that could get really silly. Okay, let's actually deal with this before I peace out here. Wow, that was fast. No one man should have all this power. And yet I do. I'm gonna just send that off. I don't actually know if that helps me. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. There we go. And Wandersung uh, was awesome, but loving the one hand clapping YouTube playlist with Shell. Seems like a no commentary vid that's the voice of the character. Aww. I, Shell gets into the game way more than I do. I I think I have too many uh, extraneous thoughts. It gets difficult for me to just purely focus on a game anymore. Sometimes it's easy. Sometimes, you know, it's just atomic crops. Yeah. She says she plays like she's in them, which I think is actually a very valid way of doing things. Okay. So that's it for this. Where the hell are we going? We're actually going down here. There we go. Hello, what eggs? Oh boy. Oh my god, how many eggs was that? How many chickens did I just hatch? What is going on? I don't think I need anything else. I think I just need egg. Okay, let's get more rose. I don't think we're going to get polyamory here. But maybe I don't need it. Alright, peach seeds, which we most definitively do not have. Uh, let's see, do I have anything else? I mean, what do we even do? Everything is just going quack. Oh, we only have, like, one area left. Yeah, so we're... We're more than ahead. Cripes. And because... Chicken eggs have a chance for getting me seeds, too. I'm getting, like... I saw a heartbeat seed in there. I think I might have missed it. Like, it was too late for me to actually pick it up. But still. You know, this guy... This guy definitely controls better than I expected him to. I was very worried going into... Uh... Going into everything that this guy was just going to be chaos. He still is, but it's not that bad. Get another fruit tree just for the heck of it. Let me maybe just run south? Nah, we'll get it on the next day. Egg. More egg. Huh. Did Northern Lion ever play a whole lot of Atomic Crops? I don't remember if he did or not. This feels like one of those games that he would have gone bananas for. Then again, I've been kind of out of the loop on him for a while. I, uh... I barely watch anybody else. Because I end up just kind of stealing their manner mannerisms, like I'm just that much of a chameleon. I could save this for bonus, but 
I don't think I care. I just want to grab more. Alright. Egg. More egg. So many egg. Boy, the sunflowers with their singular eyes. Kind of nightmare fuel. Okay, we're good. Do we grab the shellacking gun? No, let's grab the... Grab the jackrabbit. Oh, wow. that Yeah, that reloads quick. Aircrows do more damage. Nah. I will wait on the rest of these. I don't think there's anything else. Let's just get... Let's just get rolling. Uh, do we... Plant something? Yes. I have more crops than I know what to do with. Okay. Let's just fill these out the rest of the way, though. That's... Too much fertilizer. Really should probably go for that uh, 5,000 fertilizer at some point. It almost feels like the kind of run that I have to realize that I have way more fertilizer than I know what to do with. Right from the get-go. Like, I feel like I have to plan on that sort of thing. Okay, burrow butterfly. Eggs give fertilizer. Egg. More egg. Ow, 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 ow. Rip. Let's not bounce off of logs. We got tons of HP. I don't know how much I need to be terribly cautious here. Oh, I'm hungry. I know it's a random thought, but I just like shifted my stomach, just growled on me. And I'm like, oh yeah, I haven't eaten in a while. Oops. We'll talk about that later, Shell. Oh man, look. It's another wood chipper tractor. Let's plop that down. This got hectic. I'm trying to go quick. It's mostly working. Ah. Uh. <laughs> you know, there's kind of an implication that this would be um Okay, tractor is ready. Let's just eat. Give me some extra time. Delete them. That we get better drops on a harder difficulty. I think this is true. I think we would. Let's see. But honestly, like, it's feeling like this run has decent legs just in terms of drops anyway. Like, I think I'm maybe missing out on some seeds, and that's about it. This is kind of a fun little victory lap, really. Okay. Defend my crops. I think my cows are fine. I hope they are. We will see. Okay. I'm going to miss some stuff here, aren't I? Let's see. I had to step up for a bit. Forgot to say, back with pixel art games, there's a game called Biota. Uh, it looks like it's going to be pretty good. I will keep an eye on it. I'm going to try and... um. I'm going to try and be really good next year about covering most, like, noteworthy games. I've been a little sloppy this year. Um, just because tired. I might not finish as many things. This is the one thing that I'm going to be a little stuck on. That I'm... Like, I've actively been trying to finish the Gunk and Chorus and a couple other games. And it's just... Uh, game does, games don't want to be finished. Okay, did anybody see the cornucopia go by? Oh, there it is. Or cornucopia. Golden pupa. There we go. Did I shred the boss? Oh, gosh. Yeah, he was in there. Apparently, that does actually work against him. Wow. How is the gunk? It's very mild. 
is probably the best way I can put it. It's not a... It's... It's pretty good. But there's, like... I don't want to say it doesn't have much of an immediate identity. Oh, I actually did have scroll space for that. But ultimately, all you're doing is just sucking up gunk. And that's really just kind of what the, the game boils down to. Oh my god. What the hell? It's just so much. My chickens have been busy. How many chickens do I have? 20. It's a chill kind of game. There's no difficulty though. Yeah, it's like, I'd honestly actually say it's the perfect game to hand to like a kid. It's very inoffensive, but challenging and interesting enough to like really work. Um, I don't know. Ooh, go for the leech. Yes, I will eat. Create mole hole when out of ammo, faster damage buildup, extra leech. Cool. These are boring. Let's just go. It kind of reminds me of Power Wash Simulator. Yeah, actually, but like sci-fi-ish. Let's see. Seems like they're going to go for more serious political commentary, did they? I mean, the game is very much about environmentalism. Like, it is, it makes no secret that it is, it is, like, pro being a good steward of your environment. And, you know, just not taking things around you for granted. And that, you know, overexploiting the environment is going to have disaster, disastrous consequences. But honestly, like, I don't feel like that's a political slant. I think that is very much just like a... Oh, God damn it. Uh, and maybe this is me, and maybe... Um, maybe this is something I will, I will always kind of take umbrage with. But I've known a lot of people in life who say, like, you know, certain things are political that honestly just aren't. Um, but were made political because it su suited somebody's purpose. Human rights are an easy one. Human rights are not political. They just were made po political because somebody was monstrous enough to realize they could exploit making it so. Same thing with, like, environmentalism. Like, obviously, going too far on that is going to put us all back in the Stone Age. But at the same time, there's a lot of things like, I don't know, dumping mercury into the river in my hometown. Like, super not okay with that. And that should never have ever been a controversial thing to be against. And yet, for some people, uh, profit is way more important than, say, not giving children cancer and a bunch of other bits. Seems like there's also a bunch of anti-corp and anti-capitalist stuff. I think you can't escape that, though. Like, our current system is very much, like... Yeah, they're kind of intrinsically tied together. And so, like, I can kind of understand why that would be... Uh... A problem. But at the same time, I don't know. It's... It's a very topical game. And none of it is handled heavy-handedly or anything like that. You know, it's like, here are two characters that have been deep in debt for pretty much their entire lives. Trying to make a big with a, uh... With kind of a get-rich-quick scheme by going to this, this other planet and hoping to find something cool. Like, that has been... That has been the human condition, more or less, ever since, uh, we invented currency. Uh, and growing up in California, the sheer amount of stories of people, you know, risking their lives, livelihoods... Uh, and everything on, you know, coming out to California for the gold rush, or going up to Oregon. Oregon? No, Alaska. For the other gold rush. Um, and like, oh gosh, what other things have there been? I mean, even like risky trade routes and whatnot. Like, it's it's not like it's this is new to this this era, but it's just framed in a way that is a little bit more approachable. That's the American dream. Seriously. I managed to avoid it for the most part. But every once in a while... Oh, good lord, this thing is still ridiculous, even at tier 1. It just dies fast. 
Let's just grab egg. I don't know about how's and having children though is what Shell says from the other room. Or other room, other side of the room. Yeah, that's kinda where I'm at. I real world leaking in. Uh I might actually Well, I have to move soon and I was looking at rent for like different places to move to. And it's like, hey, uh, the place that you're living in, the rent went up by $900. And it's like, what? Why? Uh, because the rent went up by $900. Like, it'd be cool with it if, uh, you know, the house had been, like, really beefed up or something like that. But no, no $3,000 for a house. And it's like, I just really could actually get a mortgage instead. Like, I'm just going to kind of chill. Oh my gosh, we've got like the whole night here. I guess I could do some other things if I wanted to. Like farm, maybe? I probably should. As do it. Yeah, just have been looking into that. The finances of home ownership. Not necessarily because I want to own a home, but because I don't want to spend uh, $3,000 a month to stay in somebody else's house. And that's been kind of frustrating because I really, I really like being, um, free, question mark, like not having to be tied down to one location. And I realized like I could just sell a house and move, but that's so much harder. And like, it would be very satisfying if I could, uh, if I could just kind of move somewhere new every like five years for the rest of my life. But I know, at least in the US, that's like super not feasible without paying heavily out the nose. And it's been just bugging me. And I especially don't want to go back to an apartment or can't. Because, can you imagine hearing me on the other side of your wall for six to ten hours a day? Like, I'm sure some people have nicely insulated apartments and houses and whatnot, but. I, oh gosh, um, let's pop that, grab this, I need another scroll spot, let's grab the farming up, what is the minimum wage in America, uh, 7.25? It varies by state, but the federal minimum wage is $7.25, um, which, I mean, you're gonna have to do conversion if you're in another country, um, which, I mean, for some people, that's actually, like, really good money. Problem is in the U.S., uh, rent is like at least a thousand dollars, if not more, and that's kind of where it becomes really problematic. At seven twenty-five, but some states in the South pay two to four an hour. I mean, it depends. If you're a server, you get paid less. Um, if you're getting training wage, you get paid less. There are also laws that make it so that you can pay uh, underage people considerably less. So, like. Um, pop this. So, you know, if you're a teenager, they can, they might only be able to pay you like $4 uh, an hour or something like that. Um. And that, I don't know, so many of these things are just kind of, yeah, they've been eating at me. And it's been making, uh... It's been very validating playing a bunch of games that kind of also recognize these things. I mean, for me, video games have always been kind of my my core media. Um, we should probably... Rain. Video games have always been my core media, and I feel like... That's, like, if you play a lot of video games, you actually can get a pretty firm moral compass just by generally not being a dick in video games. Um... Wow, okay, he's just immediately dead. Year one is silly. And we're actually getting a decent amount of cornucopias from this. Okay, let's... I, I was really expecting this to be far worse. But we're kind of fine? Okay. Do this one. Unfortunately, I didn't keep any of my earthquakes around. Which means this soil is not going to stay tilled. 
and I can only cleat so hard. Okay, let's just do that. There we go. Gets me another one. Okay, get a little bit more than this one. We're just going to harvest all of this. Okay. Let's just keep going. Okay, I've got a couple of sunflowers. Nope. It won't let me. It's fine. Bitrate is dying. It happens. Okay, Durbo. Guy have gotten kicked off the list. Well, it's fine. It's fine. What the heck? It's Atomic Crops. It's the end of an Atomic Crops run. Honestly, that actually was not that bad. Like, as far as uh, money goes, not bad than slightest. I'm just going to grab that one. Get it done. And that was all the upgrades I could buy. Holy shit. That's a problem. Cleat faster. I was trying. I really was trying. Wait, is this not what real farming looks like? <laughs> Can you just imagine? You just look out. You know, you're out for a country drive. You look out uh, to the west or whatever. And suddenly there's just like a bunch of farmers just running around in soccer cleats. Screaming as cashews come flying out of the sky. Okay, can I upgrade this? No, it's so much more expensive. Good lord. I... Cat nonsense is a problem. Because we haven't even gotten the uh, plushie for this one. But to make... I mean, this one's almost good. But to make some of these even viable. Uh, this one, for example, 0 0.03 luck per cat. 0.03% luck per cat. You would need 100 cats just to have a 3% luck increase. Um... Which means we really want to get to the top tier cats to actually have a notable uh, notable effect. And yeah, it's a 200 cat cap across all cats. Ugh. Yeah, it's a little much. Alright, well, I am starving. This has been fun. We will come back to this sometime in 2022. But for now, I need some food. Oh, top tier cats aren't cats. They're statues. You can only have one of each. What? Alright, fine. It's fine.